So, you've got yourself a good education. Your foot is on the first step to a successful career. Great! On top of that, you've met your perfect other half and have set about planning your lives together. Bit of an issue though, he's not British and he lives in another country. But with your bright future ahead of you, surely this can't be a problem. Surely the immigration rules have a channel for a couple just like you who are looking to start family life in the UK. Unfortunately, it's not quite so straightforward. Since July 2012, the UK has operated rules which mean you, as your partner's sponsor, have to have an income of at least £18,600 before they can come and join you. And, if there's a child involved, the sum raises to £22,400, more for any additional kids. This is way more than the average income. 40% of people living and working in the UK earn less than this amount. Carol is one of them. My name's Carol and I used to be proud to be British. I met my husband Ahmed in uni, we fell in love, got married and then decided to move back to Southampton to start a family near my parents. But getting the visa was a nightmare. Ahmed's from Iran and I had to earn at least £18,600 for six months so that he could stay with me. I was shocked. He was forced to leave the UK when I was just three months pregnant. I did everything to find a job to bring him over. Luckily, I was offered a very good position in a law firm. However, I'm still not earning enough money for my husband to live with me. Ahmad is an accountant and could easily get a job in the UK. I mean, he's working in Iran right now. He's earning money, but the Home Office don't want to know. Even my mum and dad offered their money, but they threw it back in our faces. Makes me sick. Our beautiful daughter Fatima is now nearly one, and she still hasn't met her father. If that's not cruelty, I don't know what is. Why has the government adopted this policy? Is it because they think that unless you're earning this order of salary, you're not going to integrate well into life in the UK? What will this mean for you if you can't bring your partner to join you? The UK government is expecting to refuse 18,000 people the opportunity to join their families each year as a result of these new immigration rules. They affect people like Carol, Ahmed, and their baby daughter Fatima, and many other British citizens. The Divided Families campaign is fighting to change these rules, to bring justice to migrants and British citizens whose human rights are being challenged. If you believe in fair immigration regulations for families, support us.